Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. We'll be discussing now one question of estimation of working capital where we are having three different types of sales. Means product is same but a different selling price is charged to different customers. In such case, how to calculate net working capital? That we'll be understanding here. Let us go through the question. ABC Limited provides you with following information with request to prepare a statement of working capital. Cost records. Total cost of product is rupees 10 per unit. Total cost of product is rupees 10 per unit of which 50% is accounted by materials. Overheads are two-third of labor cost per unit. Sales target annual zone A cost plus 50%. Sales amount is 6 lakhs. Is on cash basis. Zone B cost plus 25%, total sales 5 lakhs, 1 month credit. Zone C cost plus 20%, 192,000, 2 months credit. So zone B and zone C will have daters. It will be part of current asset. Other details stock of both raw material and finished goods are to be kept for two months. It will be part of current asset. While processing takes one month. This is stock of work in progress, part of current asset. 20% of supplies of materials are ensured on cash payment. That means 20% supplies are by direct payment of cash, cash purchases. 20% of supplies are taken advance payment for 15 days. So this will be part of current asset. And remaining out of 100, 20% cash purchases, 20% against advance payment so remaining will be 60% of purchases have been agreed to the extent of one month credit so this will be part of current liability time lag in payment of wages and overheads is half month both are current liabilities Daters are to be valued at cost Cash balance is always kept at 10% of net working capital inclusive of cash. Here they have not given how many units are produced and sold. So we are required to find out that information by preparing necessary working note. Here total cost of product is given rupees 10 per unit of which 50% is materials. Total cost 10 rupees. 50% is material. So material will be 5 rupees. Total cost 10 rupees 50% material that is 5 rupees. Overheads are two third of labor cost per unit. Here total cost is 10. Labor and overheads 
together it will be 5 rupees. Labor plus overheads is equal to total cost 10 minus material cost 5. So labor plus overheads is rupees 5. Overheads are two third of labor cost per unit. Overheads are two third of labor. Total it is 5. That means labor must be 3 rupees. Overheads are two third of 3 rupees. So that will be 2 rupees. So we got material 5 rupees, labor 3 rupees, overheads 2 rupees, total cost is 10 rupees. Mm -hmm. In zone A, selling price is cost plus 50% and total sales is 6 lakhs. Cost plus 50%, cost is 10 rupees, plus 50% means 5 rupees. So in zone A, sale price is 15 rupees, total sales is 6 lakhs. So number of units sold is equal to total sale 6 lakhs divided by sale price 15 rupees. So it is 40,000 units. In zone B, sale price is cost plus 25%. Cost is 10 rupees plus 25%, that is 2 rupees 50 paise. So it becomes 12 rupees 50 paise. Zone B, total sales is 5 lakh rupees. So to get number of units sold, 5 lakhs. Divided by 12 rupees 50 paise. It comes to 40,000 units sold. Zone C selling price is cost plus 20%. Cost is 10 rupees. 20% will be 2 rupees, 10 plus 2, it will be 12 rupees. Zone C, cost plus 20%, total sales is 1,92,000. So it will be 16,000 units. Now we can calculate total units. So the last time I will calculate this. We can calculate total units that is 96,000 units. Units per month is equal to units per annum divided by 12 months. Units per annum we have calculated here 96,000 units. Divided by 12 months. So 
So it comes 8,000 units per month. We can have monthly calculation of cost. Per month raw material 5 rupees, labor 3 rupees, overheads 2 rupees. We have calculated multiplied by units per month 8000. Total cost per month 10 rupees multiplied by 8000 comes to 80,000. So, this is calculation of per month raw material requirement 40,000, labor 24,000, over it 16,000, total cost is 80,000. Let us calculate now current assets and current liabilities as working note depending upon the information given in the question. Stock of raw materials kept for two months. Stock of raw materials we have calculated per month 40,000. Raw material per month 40,000 multiplied by average stock of raw material two months. So multiplied by two. So it will be. 80,000. This will be part of current asset. Average stock of finished goods 2 months, total cost per month multiplied by period. Total cost per month 80,000. Multiplied by period 2 months. This one like 60,000 will be part of current asset. Details we are required to calculate as per information given in the question. Details are valued at cost. In zone B, there is sale of 40,000 units per annum. Sales per annum 40,000 units at cost. So multiplied by total cost 10. So it will be per annum. 4 lakhs divided by 12 multiplied by 1 to arrive at datas this 33,333 will be part of current asset in zone C per annum sale is 16,000 units 16,000 units per unit total cost 10 rupees so it will be One lakh sixty thousand divided by twelve multiplied by two months. It is twenty six thousand six hundred and sixty seven. This will be part of current asset. Twenty percent of supplies of material are ensured on cash payment. 
20% of suppliers are taken on advance payment for 15 days, that is half month. Raw material per month required is 40,000. Raw material per month 40,000, of which 20% is against advance. So multiplied by 20%, period 15 days, that is half month. So it is 4,000. This will be part of current asset. Next, current asset is cash balance, which we are required to take 10% of net working capital inclusive of cash. So that we can do afterwards. Cash given, we are required to take cash given. Here it is say 10% of net working capital. That is one tenth. Of net working capital. So we are required to take your working note to find out the amount of cash as a part of current asset. Let us first calculate current liabilities. Twenty percent of supplies of material are insured on cash payment. 20% of supplies taken at an advance payment of 15 days and remaining that is 60% have agreed to extend on one month credit. So this is creditors for goods for that balance 60% of materials. Raw material per month is rupees. 40,000 40, multiplied by period 1 month 60% So it is 24,000 This will be part of current liability Creditors for expenses, wages and overheads, half month. Wages, labor, per month 24,000, overheads 16,000. Wages per month 24,000. Multiplied by period half month. So this 12,000 will be part of current liability. Over its 16,000 per month multiplied by period half month. It will be rupees 8,000 part of current liability. We have calculated current asset and current liabilities as a part of working note. Let us prepare now final solution that is statement of estimated working capital.
ABC Limited, Statement of Estimated Working Capital. First, we will have to take current assets, then we have to take inventories, that is stock of materials, stock of finished goods, average stock of raw materials for two months, 80,000. Stock of materials, 80,000. Average stock of finished goods for two months, 160,000. Stock of finished goods, 1,60,000. Debtors at cost, zone B, 33,333. Zone C, 26,667. Zone B, 33,333. Zone C, 26,667. Advance payment to suppliers, 4,000. Next, cash. 10% of networking capital. Processing takes one month. This is information for work in progress stock. Raw material for one month, raw material per month 40,000 multiplied by period one month 40,000 multiplied by one it is 40,000. Labor one month, labor per month multiplied by period multiplied by 50 percent. Per month labor is 24,000 multiplied by period one month multiplied by 50 percent. So it will be 12,000. Overheads per month multiplied by period multiplied by 50%. Overheads per month 16,000. Multiplied by period one month multiplied by 50%. So it is 8,000. Total 40,000 plus 12,000 plus 8,000. So it will be 60,000. Average stock of work in progress, we have to take 60,000. If we write here the amount of cash, we can get total current assets, that is gross working capital. If we write here the amount of cash, we can get total current asset, that is gross working capital. Let us now find out the amount of current liabilities, creditors for goods, 24,000. Creditors for wages 12,000. Creditors for overheads 8,000. We are required to calculate cash balance. This is 10% of net working capital. Now, here that cash will be part of net working capital. From gross working capital, if we minus current liabilities, we are going to get net working capital. So how to get this figure of cash, that is 10% of networking capital. We have to add all current asset 
excluding cash, the information which we don't have, this total we have taken, it comes to 3,64,000. So all current asset excluding cash total is 3,64,000. We will deduct now all current liabilities total that is 44,000. Three lakh sixty-four thousand minus forty-four thousand. It comes three lakh twenty thousand. Now we will take one ninth of this figure as cash balance required. If we have actual networking capital, we could have taken ten percent. That is one by ten. So without including it, we have to take one ninth. Of three lakh twenty thousand, which comes to thirty five thousand five hundred and fifty six. Now we can take gross working capital. Already we have current asset three lakh sixty four thousand. We'll be adding this amount of thirty five thousand five hundred and fifty six. It is three lakh ninety nine thousand five hundred and fifty six minus current liabilities. That is 44,000. From this gross working capital, we will deduct this 44,000. Three lakh ninety-nine thousand five hundred and fifty-six minus 44,000. It comes three lakh fifty-five thousand five hundred and fifty-six. This will be amount of estimated net working capital. In this question, we have learned how we can calculate net working capital when total cost is same but we are charging three different prices to three different customers and accordingly differing amount of credit period etc. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.